Brown, coming to you, Spice. How do we help and support HBCUs? I have to echo what everybody's been saying. Money, money. Everybody got to cut the checks. And and like I was saying, you know, as far as sports, funnel in some of that money to the HBCUs. Nobody like we're in a pandemic. Put them on TV. Let let the HBCUs get that check. And then awareness. I remember watching Martin Lawrence show the, the show. He used to always have on the sweater, the African American Alliance. He used to always have that on. Start the awareness. Start wearing the jerseys that when these kids go to these schools, so that the HBCUs can get this money. Because uh, you know, it's it, it's about to start being a domino effect. I see you with the fam you sir. Hey, hey, I support my wife with the fam you, so listen. I'm I'm hey, I'm I'm an ally. Uh, I didn't go to an HBCU, <laughs> but I understand. So let's get that yeah. money there, man. Now sure. you, you definitely an ally, and that's why, man, we appreciate you so much as I'm tearing stuff up in here. We appreciate you so much for pulling up and showing love, bro, for real. Sure. But to close us out, man, how do we show love and support HBCUs? I want to say this before I answer the question really quick. Mr. Bentley, I want to just say to you, man, that I, I never got a chance to tell you how much I appreciate you for showing our young men how to be a gentleman. Yep. In the midst of, of, you know, the time that yep. you came out and had your opportunity in front of yep. the camera, man, you really showed the world yep. how to be a gentleman, man. And I, I I really appreciate you for that, bro. Um, what I what I'll say is is this actually goes to the HBCUs. I think we got to start treating our children better. I think sometimes when we go to HBCUs, they feel like they got to take black children through an experience, and they feel like struggling um, is 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 part of the process. And I think we get enough of that in the real world. When I was SGA president at Southern, I made sure that my students had so much fun that they would want to come back. You know, I, I think the experience of loving on each other and come, I mean, and treating each other the right way, not having the struggle to get in the school, not having to struggle to get into registration, all of these types of things. I think if we loved on our children and treated our children a whole lot better, because I have to be honest, I rep Southern uh, with all of my heart everywhere that I go, but Southern gave me mm. hell. You know, Southern actually, Southern actually outlawed me from campus for 10 years, you know, then turned around and asked me for $100,000. <laughs> um, but I, I rep, I, I rep Southern. I rep Southern for the children. But what I would say is that we have to treat our children better, and they'll want to give money. You don't yeah, treat yeah. nobody bad, then put them, then, then put them out, and then, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. they be like, "Man, I ain't giving nobody back." Yeah, you yeah. know, I, I really believe if we make sure that the experience that our children have is stellar, and we give them information and experiences that uh uh. uh a mirror, what, what we want all of our children to have, I think they'll come back and give all the money that they have in their pocket if they can, if the experience is right. Yeah, it is. Uh, this has been a dream, uh, both this episode and really our whole first season here at Fox Soul. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this as much as our team has. I'd like to thank our panelists, of course. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time this evening. Uh, and I gotta thank the man who made it all happen, uh, Brother James. DuBose, thank you so much. And his right hand is T. Jones. Uh, to my kings with cosine team, uh, Felicia, Shaquita, Tony, Marquetta, Todd, and Tevin. Um, and I definitely can't forget the big homie, Leon Rogers, Chi-Town, WGCI. Thank you all so much for rocking with me. It's been an incredible ride. And now, with no further ado, here's the video that I did for the uh, Biden-Harris campaign. Everybody vote. If you're in the marching band, I challenge you to share your own version of it and tag me, uh, the Everybody Vote Challenge. Stay tuned for the Mike and Donnie show here on Fox Soul. I'm out. Bring him back, Fox Soul. Don't trip. Bring him back. <laughs> It go right foot, then left. What you ain't gonna do is finesse. We done work too hard, too long. It's a damn shame we gotta write this song. No justice, no peace. And we tired of crooked police. And if you wanna see some change, then the action starts with me. Everybody bounce, 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 Yes.
since I was a young boy, they say this is the home of the brave. But when I did my history, the truth is such a shame. Mama, they lied to me, they lied. You told me turn the other cheek and I tried. I want to see Martin dream before I die. And do a little dance, cause nah, I ain't shy.